Hey everyone, it's Brian here from Massey's Main Entertainment. We're finally back again. We, you know, we went through a little hol holidays time, and our last video has been a couple weeks. But we also got other projects going on on other channels, so uh, we took a little bit of a hiatus on top of doing that other project. So uh, we're back now, and we're going to try some different stuff. We're going to start a series where we're going to do the, the top twelve songs by particular artists, and we're going to rotate between the three of us who gets to select the artist. And uh, then we're going to rank them, and then we'll we'll, we'll <coughs> film the video and have some fun with it. So yeah. this week we decided to give uh, Doc the uh, the go here. Got it. And uh, so Doc's going to be the one who chose, and Doc wanted to do ACDC. Uh, so we gave it to him. So so thank you for joining us, Doc, and thank you for joining us, Rich. Um, no I'm going to put a uh, link to Rich's channel down below as well. So. And uh, that's what we do. We're just going to basically start at number 12. We're going to go like a little uh, uh, 12, 12, 12, 11, 11, 11, just round the horn type of stuff and count it all the way down to number one, just like we've been doing uh, or some of the last couple of videos that we've done. So yes. I'm going to go first this evening, and then Rich is going to go second. And then Doc, since this was his choice, this is one of his his boys, uh, he gets to back clean up and, uh, and spew all the stuff that we forgot to talk about. <laughs> Since yeah. I get to go first, I got guys. I'm just going to kind of dive right in here. Yeah. Um, I, I, for number twelve, for me, I wanted to kind of spread the love a little bit, and I do remember this song coming out. Um, yeah, about the time that uh, my my kids were really starting to kind of get into music a little bit too. And uh, this was uh, from the the album Stiff Upper Lip in 2000, and it's the title track. I thought it was just an atypical, you know, ACD song. Really good rhythm. Uh, the guitar was great. What I've always appreciated about ACDC is it's like when they put together a song, they automatically are thinking in their head, how good is this going to sound when we perform it on stage? You know? And and uh, I think that that's, that happens quite a bit. And uh, and I like the song. And so I wanted to include it. It was one of their latter songs. I say latter. It's, you know, it's good 12 years old, 12, 13 yeah. years old. But I wanted to include something from one of their latter catalogs. So. Stiff upper lip. Very good. Um, you know, I'm not as deep into ACDC as Doc and even Brian, I would say. I'm the, the weakest link here. But I picked uh, among my 12 songs only from five albums because that, that's what I know. So you won't see any of the later day stuff or more uh, hidden gems, let's say. But my, my number 12 song is The Jack from High Voltage. Uh, I like this tune. It's kind of bluesy for them. Uh, a lot of sexual innuendo in the lyrics, which they're apt to do. Uh, with the <laughs> deck, of, deck of cards as a metaphor with the king and the queen and the jack and all that stuff. And it, it's the formulaic ACDC uh, pattern. You know, it, I mean, they got the great riff and they got uh, the solo and the drums are killing and the vocals are fantastic. So it. It's just if you like ACDC, the Jack is is a, one of the better songs. I think it's number twelve for me. This one, Rich, they had Brian too. Good, good ones to start off with, you know. So, uh, yeah, a, it's a big record. They got a lot of records we can choose from here. They've been around for, for fifty years now into this year, twenty twenty three. So, uh, wow, yeah, they've got quite a catalog, lots to choose from. Getting down to 12 for me was from a list that I ended up with 38 that I started off with. To get it down wow. to 12 was pretty pretty fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. Uh, but I kind of just went back to something that the, the Rich touched on there. I've got it, I got it down to like five albums, five or six albums myself. And it's kind of the way it just unfolded for me when I started thinking about the song. So, my number 12 is Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution off of uh, Back in Black. Mm -hmm. Uh something you just touched on there rich yeah uh the jack is a bluesy rock song uh and if you listen to enough acdc you'll find out that they're a heavy blues rock band and uh yeah it's guitar driven it's uh they got the catchy riffs they got the guitar solos acdc is a moving get you moving get you the mood rock band and uh I've got a soft spot for these guys, man. This has been part of my life, my whole music life, listening to music. ACDC is very, very high up on my list of what I listen to. And rock and roll and noise pollution. Let's start off with number 12. Nice. Nice. Good one. Perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy who's who's drawing from like nine different albums here. So I'm only going to repeat an album a couple times. <laughs> That's okay, so. buddy. 
is what it is, I guess, right? Yep. Uh, number 11 for me is from my favorite overall ACDC album. It just so happened that I, I only picked one song from the album. That's the title track from Let There Be Rock. I like this one because this is really that blues rock stuff that I enjoy, you know, and it, before, you know, before this, it would have been the Rolling Stones. And then of course, in latter days, bands like the Black Keys and stuff that are really got that bluesy grindy stuff that this album was a little bit more gritty and, uh, you know, and had, and had that blues texture that I just absolutely love. So I wanted to include this title track on the list. Number 11, let there be rock from there. 1977, I think. Yes. Yep. 77. Right. Number 11 for me is from the uh, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap album, and that is the song Problem Child. Right on. I like the song, man. I, I can't, it's got that amazing riff again. I'm going to say a lot of the same things because a lot of their songs are, are the same, except, I mean, they all rock and they all have the riffs and they all have the great solos. And, and in particular on this song, I like the Phil Rudd uh, drumming beat. Bon Scott belting this uh, song out here, problem. I'm a problem, you know, just that scream. <laughs> uh, it, and that doesn't get you going. It, it, you're, you're singing along, and it, it's just a wonderful thing. But uh, this is the ACDC formula in a nutshell for me. This this song, Problem Child. It's got everything you want in the uh, ACDC catalog thrown into this tune. And it's still number 11, so there's 10 more to go that I like better. Right. That's the guy, you know, number 11 is on both of you guys. Solid picks, man. That's what I can tell you. Uh, I, I should say this. I preface this, this anyway. It's a placement thing for me. Right? The top is really at the top for me. But as I go through, these could fall anywhere. But I'm just putting this one here because I think it's still a rock anthem. I still think it rocks uh, from Razor's Edge. I'm going Thunderstruck here. Uh, oh. Right? Yeah, this is... Uh, uh, you think about how it happened with you know Bob Scott and then you know Brian Johnson coming into the band. Thank God Brian Johnson, those two guys, the the youngs and they have been up. And this is you know we got another forty years of this with these guys. So because of that, uh, the tragedy with Bond is one thing, but the band got going. And uh, thank God because you know from Back in Black on, they pumped in a lot of good music. And uh, Thunderstruck, I think, is kind of like the rock anthem. Let's say the last. Uh, almost 30 years of music almost you could probably put it in that neighborhood so classic riffy acdc heavy tune man it was one that i was looking at it just fell a little short for me but I, it was in the mix for sure sure yeah. sure yeah. right you might hear about that one pretty soon <laughs> yeah. I imagine so. uh for me i picked at number 10 when we get since, since we're here i mean this one was one of those ones where you got to be really careful about whether you're looking at the australian version or the u.s version <laughs> you know so this was from the u.s high voltage i've got tnt um obviously there's an australian album that's just called tnt um and then it also appears on that version of it so you gotta kind of start to pay attention here you know two different types of releases going on but it's a staple song for them you know i just love that that little uh kind of like when they break it down and it, it, it's just the rhythm guitar and it's not so much bass and he's like it's dino mike i mean i just love that part of it i think really great stuff so wanted to include it in my top 10 for sure very good uh my number 10 is shoot to thrill from back in black nice uh this is like a badass song it falls to the wall rock and roll just a killer tune i couldn't do the list and leave this one off uh, I, you know, last couple of days I've been playing these songs to make sure my list was what I wanted, and uh, I'm glad I included this. Shoot the Thrill, great tune from uh, Back in Black. That's a great tune, that's right, Rich. Uh, but the, my number 10 looks a lot more like Brian's number 10 because I got TNT coming in at number 10 for me, too, buddy. So <laughs> nice. You're right, that breakdown, you know, the dino bite is one thing, you know, but that just the way they get into it, like, you know, duh, duh, duh. Hi. Mm -hmm. yeah, I get, love that. Yeah. ACDC, man. It's a, yeah. it's a banger head rock song from ACDC, man. And, uh, like, uh, it gets you going, man. That's what ACDC is all about. Uh, heavy riffs. Still got that bluesy guitar. And uh, yeah. TNT, man. It's classic ACDC, though. Yeah, it has to be there. Has to. Nice. All right. So on to number nine. 
this is where I get a little bit, I'm bouncing back up now. I'm back into 1990 from the razor's edge. I've got the razor's edge, which is actually, maybe a, I would think a deeper choice. It wasn't really released as a single. It got a little bit more uh, prominence and airplay and picked up a lot of streams when they used it for the Iron Man 2 trailer soundtrack uh, when they were doing it. And I, it right. was really great to have. And plus, you know, ACDC, of course, did the music for the first two films. So, it's you know, that's just kind of part of the deal. The Razor's Edge, I think the beginning of that song, when they start off really slow and then they start getting into that rhythm section, it's like, da 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 And it's just incredible. I saw these guys play and open up with that song in Old Orchard Beach for this tour, and it was just phenomenal. The place was rocking when they did that. That was awesome. Number nine. Very cool. My number nine is from Highway to Hell album, and that is Girls Got Rhythm. I love the riff on this one too. This is a, a sing along song. The girls got red. I mean, you, you can just jam with this song. <laughs> and again, the beat, the bass line, the killer guitar solo, Bon Scott. It, it, you know, on, his, on the last album he would record, really, Highway to Hell before he, his demise. Uh, he's in peak form here, man. This is a great tune. Uh, so, number nine. He's got the backseat rhythm. That's a good call, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Uh, my number nine is one that Brian had earlier. So it is also the title track for Let There Be Rock. Man. Uh, another one that's, uh, yeah, you think you summed it up pretty good when you did yours, Brian. The bluesy, heavy rock side. And it, it, it comes through in some songs, and sometimes it's just heavy rock from ACDC. With, but you get down to it, if you broke out that guitar, man, you can see the influences that you know, the Stones and the Who and, you know, Jimi Hendrix and uh, all these guys had on these guys when they play because there's there's similarities that you can hear throughout it, you know. Their biggest influence to them, to both the Youngs, is Little Richard. So that's what they would put on at all their parties. So you get the idea that these guys are quite diverse on what they're listening to that influenced them. Let there be rock. They just played it heavier, man. They're a lot louder, a lot heavier. But the general part of it is, man, it's bluesy, heavy rock and let there be rock is just a classic rock song to me, but that's my number nine. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Heading into the eighth slot, I've got finally something from Back in Black, which I've got the title track, which you know is just I'm this hugely iconic song. You know, I yeah. think uh, was this the point where they had they had to change singers, right? Completely new yeah. singer. Yeah. And, and, right. and what better way? I mean, geez, I mean, it's like they. Not only did they not miss the beat, it felt like they gained traction, you know, by making the switch. It just it, the sound was just a little bit different, a little bit a little bit heavier on the bass, a little bit heavier on the drums. Uh, the whole album was like that, and so back in black, you know, you, you cannot hear the first couple thing, riffs of this song and not know what the song is. There's no way. So I wanted to include it here. That'll be appearing a little bit later on my list here. Uh, number eight again from Highway to Hell. If you want blood, you got it. Wow, I just like the energy of this song. Uh, again, I like these sing along choruses when you can do that the hard rock and the heavy metal, you know. And Bon Scott again, that voice. If you want blood, you know, he just belting it out, you got it. and the, then the solo comes in. It's just hard rock done the right way. I, I can't believe the riffs they come up with in these songs. It's just amazing. Fantastic. You know, it's consistently great uh, on their best work. I don't know, you know, like I said, the, their entire catalog. But the songs I like, I really like. And uh, that's one of them. If you want blood, you've got it at number eight. Man, this is uh, okay. My number eight is the title track, Back in Black, man. Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the more polished records or yeah. well-produced records you're ever going to hear yeah. in your life. Uh, and this is your intro to Brian. Uh, take it over uh, from Highway to Hell and going in the back of black. They had these ones in the bank ready to go, and then they had to go and find Brian Johnson, who was in Gordy, who was a different band. And uh, it's a match made in heaven on this replacement thing, man, because it doesn't get any better than that. You're right. It's an iconic rock song. Yeah. I've got some ACDC songs I don't want to hear again in my life. So that tells you one thing. But Back in Black, man, that's a classic. Perfect. 
is. All right. All the way to lucky number seven. I've got, I think Doc had this earlier. I had Thunderstruck here. Yep. Uh, so that's another one off Razor's Edge. So, I mean, so yep. I, I'm kind of showing that I'm, I was in the radio station during the 90s. So I'm kind of showing that a little bit here. But still, another great song. I can remember them performing in concert. Not only, the one thing I noticed when he was doing this song in concert, I don't know where that guy gets his energy from. But he roamed around that stage <laughs> <laughs> like for the entire song, and, and, and he just—it was incredible to see how much energy that guy expels, and uh, I was just in awe of that. The drumming's incredible on this track, all, all the way through. Uh, you could you could tell. I mean, it, you could tell that the record companies kind of like threw a little bit more money into the production value on this whole album, so it had a little bit cleaner, crisper sound. And um, some people might not have liked it because they prefer the gritty, bluesy. Uh, ACDC, but I thought it was fine. I thought I had a good. I thought I had a good sound. Nice. Uh, my number seven is one you guys both had earlier, and that's the uh, song TNT. Right on. Oi, oi, you know, oi, oi. I like the dynamite. Uh, mm -hmm. Excuse the pun with the TNT, and it, it, it <laughs> just explodes into this massive guitar solo. Right. And I like the lyrics here: "Lock up your daughter, lock up your wife." Lock up your back door and run for your life. I mean, that's so killer that you have to do that. So they're making a statement. You mess around, man. That's it. <laughs> the end just, I'm laying it down. Lock everything Thanks. up because here I come, baby. TNT, <laughs> dynamite. But that's my number seven. I. It's one of my favorites. I just had to stack these up. Uh, some iconic songs I put ahead of it, but I really like TNT. It's a great tune. Oh yeah, obviously a good choice. I think we're all. In yeah, we all had that one so far. We all had it. Yeah. So. Good one. And my number seven was Rich's Your Number Eight. So if you want blood, buddy, uh, yeah, that's a good one. you got it. Uh, yeah, Bond, Bond sounds fantastic, man. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's just that, you know, the, almost like the choppy guitar that comes in right after it. It was like, dun, dun, dun. Yeah. just uh, the start stop riff that they get going after that. And, yeah, he belts it out, and it's it's heavy, loud, screaming rock and roll, man. If you want blood, you got it. Uh, that's my number seven. Great title, too. Perfect. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So we're in the second half of this. Uh, we're all the way up to th this track here. I read a, a little bit on this one because I you know, I obviously had the, C the CD for this. Huge Stephen King fan, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I picked the Who Made Who from the Who Made Who soundtrack. Uh, the little backstory about this is that Stephen King was trying to get ACDC to acquiesce to use their songs on the uh, on the soundtrack, but he had to prove that he was a diehard ACDC fan by they picked a song. And I think it was from their Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. They picked a random song and he had to be able to sing all the lyrics to it for them uh -huh. to agree to do that. No and, he, and he did. He pulled wow. it right off and they said, all right, we got it. You can use our music. It's fine. And they even like threw in an extra uh, extra song for him, so that's kind of cool. So I put "Who Made Who" right here. Right on. Cool. My number six is the title track from "Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap." Uh, what can I say? This is an absolute banger, in your face, rock and roll. There's not much subtle about it. You know, it just comes at you, and th especially that that vocal and the scream at the end that Bond has. It's just one of their better songs. Again, "Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap." I like the way he's phrasing is and they're done they're cheap and he's got that little woo, like giggle or something in the middle of it when he's singing it it's like uh eerie in a way it's a good song so that's my number six your number six is uh that's a pretty good one buddy let me tell you so uh, my number six uh i don't know why i said this on the last time i did that when i said back in black back in black not the opener but i got hell's bells at number oh. six for me oh Wow. Uh, yeah, this is a classic tune live. Uh, this is, you know, you get that go going, you know, the bell going, and uh, uh, just the slow, easy guitar riff to start off the song to get you to do it, where it's just like, you don't know where it's going to go. It's ACPC. You know it's going to go somewhere. Yeah. But uh, they really play on the build-up in some of their music, man, and uh, – goes back to what your first one i think rich you had the jack where it plays out as a bluesy rock yeah. song really mm -hmm. and uh once again you get that kind of undertone here and it just kicks into a straight rock song uh, mm -hmm. hell's bells is 
another one that's been close to me for a long time, man. Make it my list, number six. Perfect. Nice. On to number five. This is probably the song, the one song that I could think of that's on my list and maybe in the top 20 of theirs even that it sounds completely different than everything, and that's Ride On from from Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Um, just, in a, you know, really cool that they have a finally a laid-back tune where they're just kind of like just playing it and like almost like they're sitting around a campfire just kind of throwing these tune out, relaxing. Um, so I thought it was really cool. I liked it, of course, used on the Who Made Who soundtrack as well for Maximum Overdrive as well. So I want to include that here in the top, number t- in the top five. My number five is the title track from Back in Black. It was talked about earlier. Iconic anthem. The beginning of that, like you said, Brian, that if you don't, in the first couple chords there, if you don't know that song, then you're out to lunch. I mean, it's been around for 42 years, 43 years. It's classic. Had to be in my top five. I, I jacked it up for a reason. Even though I might like TNT better, this deserves to be high on my list. It's just an, an unbelievable classic rock tune. So, I don't know how anybody that likes rock music can't like this song. It's awesome. Right on. Loved your pick too, Brian. That's a great song. That's you. Know, yeah. I told you I have a lot of honorable mentions, man. That's pretty high up on my honorable mention list. The uh, right on. I like that song a lot. So, uh, but I gotta stick with what I with me. So, I go back to uh, Highway. I got Love Hungry Man. Uh, at number five. Wow, nice. <coughs> Good one. And this this is my favorite album of theirs. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my number one song doesn't come from there, go figure. But uh <laughs> yeah, this is uh uh the riff of the song is just uh so so catchy, man. I just you guys know I'm a guitar driven guy when I get into my rock song and uh Da, 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 da. I mean, Malcolm writes all this stuff. I mean, I guess it's the one that puts on the show and stuff like that. But all those riffs and all those catchy things are Malcolm writing all that stuff. And even Angus will tell you that Malcolm was a better guitarist than him. So, what does that tell you? Uh, love Hungry Man, man. I love that too. And that's uh, it's making my top five ACDC, man. Nice. That's what we want. We want the, uh, the deeper cuts because you know them better than I do. So, that's a good one. I'll go listen to that again. Uh, okay, we're up to it. number four, yes? Yep. Yes. All right. So I've got uh hot. I gotta have it here. I mean, I got a highway to hell. I mean, that's like just <laughs> ridiculously iconic for them. You know, 1979 album, um classic album cover. It's it's even, you know, yeah, um, every list I've ever seen for like albums that you have to listen to before you die. It doesn't matter who put the list together, whether it was Pitchfork or Colin Larkin or any of those guys. Highway to Hell is always the ACDC album that appears on every one of those lists. Sometimes Black and Black will be there with it, but always Highway to Hell is on that list. So, and this is the title track, too iconic to leave off. So, yeah, I, to me, there's no doubt those are the two best albums that I've heard. Not that I've heard the later ones, but those two are peak ACDC. My number four song, however is from the TNT album, and that's it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Got all the elements of an ACDC classic, the riff, uh, the rhythm section, that vocal. Uh, it was in School of Rock with Jack Black. He was teaching the kids this that's right. tune. It's got bagpipes, for God's sake, in it. That's awesome. That I are love unbelievably that. woven into this song. Uh, a lot of people, I, I was reading uh, some comments that a lot of people think this is their best song. I mean, I didn't go that high, but I went with number four. I can see why, you know, with all the nuances with the bagpipes and uh, it's just a killer tune. So that's my number four. My number four sounds a lot like Rich's number four. <laughs> it's a long <laughs> way to the top. If you want to rock and roll, it is exactly what you said, Rich. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about a blend of things, right? You know, it's classic ACDC, especially early ACDC. And that throwing in the, the pipes and the bagpipes of that song and uh, how it fits so well. That's nice. different. It's, man, it's, a, it's a rock song with bagpipes, man. That's what that is. It's maybe a little Nazareth undertone or something like that in there. I don't know, but it's it's a rock song with bagpipes, man. It's a long way to drop and one rock and roll. I can see why some people might have it, you know, as their 
or yeah. maybe ranking as a yeah. number one song. Yeah, yeah I can see it. It's all personal. They managed to get the bagpipes to sound rockish. You know, they they <laughs> yeah. It's not just the droning bagpipe. It, it's rocking along with the music. It's awesome. Oh, it's cooking. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, so into the top three we go, Brian. Top three we go. Uh, this one's going to sound kind of familiar to get you, you guys. It's a long way to to the top if you want to rock and roll is my number three <laughs> we all have i don't that. have anything to really add here except that i will say this there's a really good cover of it by the dropkick murphys oh yeah uh you know, there's a ska oh. band that, that does a really great job of it too that i en enjoy just as much but yeah I, I i struggled whether or not this was going to be even higher than three yeah, I can see it why. is that good of a song it's well constructed mm -hmm. and and to be like for some reason, I don't understand how you can make bagpipes sound that cool, but they do it. <laughs> yeah, they so, do. You know, you got to give them some props. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it makes the song. I mean, it would have been a great song without it, but it really elevates it to another level. So uh, my number three is from yeah. Back in Black, Hell's Bells. I like the beginning, the setup with the tolling, sort of an homage to Bond who died. You know, it's like a church bell going off and these gongs yeah. and this and that. And then it builds up, like Doc said, into this rock masterpiece. Beautifully arranged, put together well. Uh, you, this is one I like to crank up. You can you can crank this up to the highest level and you hear them bells and it just, it just builds all the way through. Uh, one of their signature songs. So had to be high on the list. I'm going to put it at number three. Nice. Good one. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to argue with any of the ACDC song anybody's picking here, man. So this is this is easy for me. But my number three is one Rich you had earlier, uh, but it's also a back in black too, man. So it's shoot the thrill. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I bet you there at, at times in my life this was my favorite ACDC song. So I can't say it any different. All, all these could have been changed at one time, but this is today's list for Doc. So shoot the thrill. Yeah. I was always hypnotized by the guitar solo before I actually got into the drop. It's almost like a, almost like an Eddie Van Halen kind of sound when he gets into his, his riff when he gets to get into it in the middle of the song, you know, before the breakdown. Shoot you. When I shoot you. And then it comes right out. It's classic, classic ACDC, man. It's got everything I want in a song from ACDC. So, shoot it throw, number three. When I was putting together my list, I said, of all these songs, shoot to throw is a doc song i thought it would be near number one i really did that was <laughs> my prediction but, oh really yeah but there was no doubt it's going to be number one but now i gotta stay tuned for the suspense you got two ahead of it so yep cool we're at number two we're at number two for brian okay i've got from fly on the wall i've got sink the pink I, I I love the guitar work in this in this song and the and the guitar solo at the bridge is just iconic. I mean, I when I saw them, they did that song as one of the songs too in that concert, and they hit the strobe lights while he was playing that portion of the guitar solo, and it was just bang, just banging. The crowd just went at, absolutely ape shit. It was awesome. So, yeah, sink the pink class. Uh, that's personal fave. My number two, I went, you know, a little bit down Main Street with this one because it's a classic rock staple from Back in Black. You shook me all night long. I just think I, I yep. can never hear enough of this song, man. Uh, this is the one I would probably put in a time capsule if I had to, to, to represent ACDC. And 100 years from now, they could open it up and listen to this song because it's got all the elements in it. I, I like the lyrics, the sexual lyrics, knocking me out with those American thighs. Uh, she told me to come, but I was already there. I mean, come on, this is classic stuff. Uh, a <laughs> staple in rock and roll. Uh, and Angus and Malcolm both bring in the heat. My number two. Good. And I can't say there's anything wrong with having it on a list. I mean, this is, you know, it's not on my list, I can say that, but you should be all night long. It's kind of like a, an ACDC anthem, I think is what you said. And yeah. that's probably the way I put it too. So. It's just worn on me a little too long in my life. I think I maybe that's that. my side. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to the title track of Highway to Hell, my number two. Uh, nice. I think you, you you might have both had this one already. I can't remember. Yeah. I haven't. I know. I had it. Yeah, yeah. Brian had it. You had it, right. 
yeah, this uh, this is completely ACDC Bond Scott. This is what this is. Yeah. Uh, and I could not get the wife to walk down the aisle to the song for whatever reason. I got no. Oh married. man. So, but she's in it now. Let me tell you. So, but whatever the case, <laughs> highway to hell, man. Uh, all I can hear is Scott saying it, man. That's all I can hear. Uh, mm -hmm. It's it's iconic rock to me, man. This is very high up on my list of rock songs. Uh, highway to hell is a classic. Sure is. Perfect. Okay, so we're finally at number one. Here we go. I I had to pick from Back in Black. I had to pick Hell's Bells and put it here at number yeah. one. I just thought the, the the elements of the song were just the, the most intriguing to me, especially when I was kind of into metal when I was in high school and stuff. It was just one of those tunes that you would you could throw on all the time on a mixtape, and everybody loved it. You know, the old school guys would love it. You know, the new people that just got in in the metal they would love it. And it just kind of always kind of like set that ominous mood for whatever mischief you were going to get into that night. <laughs> it's happening. So it just it's happening, you know. And you might as well go for it. So Hell's Bells is my number one. I can see why. Tie up. Uh, my number one is the title track from Highway to Hell. Doc just had it at number two. It's my favorite AC/DC song, man. It's got uh, everything: the insane chorus, "I'm on a highway to hell," the guitar solo, the voice. The lyrics again. I keep coming back. My favorite songs have the those sexual innuendo lyrics because that's what ACD is about. They're sex, drugs, rock and roll. I like this uh, line here. Don't need no re don't need reason. Don't need rhyme. Ain't nothing that I'd rather do. Going down party time. My friends are gonna be there too. I'm on a highway to hell. I mean that's that's <laughs> it. Party time, baby. So highway to hell is the best ACD song for me. It's the one I. If I had to pick one song out to listen to, that would be it for my own taste. So I had to put it up there. But the others are no slackers. There, there's, there's 10 or 12 here that I really enjoy quite a bit. It's like, uh, I got to go to a Let There Be Rock. Uh, I went back to that album for my number one. My number one ACDC song is Whole Lot of Rosie. Yeah. That is my favorite oh, yeah. ACDC song. Yep. Yeah. Uh, can't get around it. Uh, yeah, talk, you want to talk about lyrics and stuff like that, Rich? Holy yep. cow, this has it all. Here you go. Uh, I know. Mm -hmm. You can say she's got it all. So, uh, and then the breakdown to a, a classic, uh, one of my favorite riffs of music, man, out of uh, a <laughs> whole lot of Rosie. Uh, just a rocking, motoring rock song, man. And uh, that's my favorite ACDC song. That was one of my runners up. That came close to making my list, really did. That and Let There Be Rock were the two that I had a hard time not putting on the list. Yeah. I mean I had I had shoot the thrill and shook me all night long, but they were they were outside there too. Yeah. And um another uh, money talks from uh Razor's Edge also I had as a possibility of making my list, but you know, we it's too hard. Once you get to, down to the twelve, you just gotta go for the yeah, the meat the and potato. Meat and potatoes by that point, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's hear your honorables because you uh, you can dig deep on these. Well, I mean, outside of everything off of Highway to Hell or Back in Black, you know, probably if you hear it again, you hear it again. So I mean, those two, I think, are just almost perfect. Dirty Deeds, obviously. Uh, Jailbreak is a great mm -hmm. tune too, man. And that was on my list for a long time, actually. Well, the truth, Doggy Dog, I think, is a classic. Problem Child, you mentioned as well. Uh, money talks i had written down uh, i had right on i had the jack uh, touch too much have a drink on me yeah uh, inject the venom uh, let's get it up put the finger on you i mean i had nothing off for those about to rock I and mean, for those about to rock i didn't have on here so wow that girl's got rhythm wow. Sin city loads of songs man it's weird that we all three none of us had big balls on this one <laughs> no no <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. At least not, at least not metaphorically. I mean, it's a... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There it <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Right. Here we go. That was good. Okay. Well, anyway, that that's that'll wrap it up. I mean, I thought this one went really well. I mean, ACDC is not you know 
it's not totally in my wheelhouse, but I do remember a lot of the songs. I've listened to a lot of their catalog, you know, and I think Rich is in the kind of the same boat, but we had to kind of defer to Doc here to, to carry the load a little bit because I know he would be like the guy when it came to that stuff. Yeah. So uh, we really appreciate everybody listening. Uh, looking for two weeks from now, we're going to be doing a top 12 uh, ranking of U2 songs. That's going to be for uh, my choice. And uh, so uh, look look for that coming soon. I also get a chance check out our other videos that are on my channel. Uh, we just went through a whole you know thirty six years uh, to, to forty you know, weeks, basically forty one weeks of uh, you know doing the building the perfect album series that we went through. Currently, we're filming a Hall of Fame uh, uh, induction ser series of videos that's going to last for the next thirty six weeks over on Rich's channel. So you might want to check those out as well. So there's lots of stuff that we're doing and also be looking for a song exchange that we have coming up as well uh, on my channel here that we'll do and alternating weeks whenever we're not doing these top 12. So uh, thank you, Rich, for joining us. I really Thanks, appreciate guys. it, buddy. Thank you. And thank you, Doc. Um, Thanks, and, guys. Um, everybody take care out there. We'll see you on the next vid. Bye-bye.